Okay, first order of business. Make sure all of the wires from the wing are pushed through this hole and set the wing up in an area where we can lift it up and then do the attachment. But that's the first order of business because they'll be later connected and pushed back into this hole. You can see here we put the jack in place. Now we're ready to lift the wing up and slide the bolts, which you'll see holes here, here, and on the inboard section. Uh, we'll get those bolts all ready. Okay, well you see we have the top and the bottom bolt. It's this one and this one in place. There's also a bolt. Let me move it out here. In this position here, which has to be accessed either from in the wheel well, which I don't know for sure on the aircraft you have there whether it's accessible from there or inside the cabin but that bolt is accessible inside the cabin if not from the wheel well. Uh, in the case of this one the bolt is placed in the wing. Let's see if I can get down here. In that wing root. There it is. So once the wing is in place, we can push that bolt in. That'll support the uh, the inboard portion of the wing. Okay, now we're putting the uh, nuts on the end of those bolts, top and bottom, and then we'll go on the inside and and put this nut on the uh, inside on that one. tightening the bolt. We have one on the bottom of the wrench and on top with the socket ah. wrench and Chad is grunting and that's how tight you make it. <laughs> when you run out of grunt you know you got them tight enough. Oh then he just hit his stomach on the on the L aileron. Oh you son <laughs> whoops <laughs> oh, that thing just got I know it's stuck on out there. He's tightening this as tight as he can get with that 12 inch socket. And that's where you ah, Okay. They tighten the bottom ones the same method in which the top ones. We're going to have to connect all those wires, the ends of those wires, which are all male female, so it shouldn't be a problem. And the other wing is installed in a similar manner, and we'll, we'll show you how to hook up the uh, ailerons and the rudders. Okay, they're bringing the other wing. As you can see, we've set up a couple of saw horses to set it on. And then we're just getting it ready for the installation. Okay, to get to that inboard bolt. We have a wrench with long extensions that extend all the way to that top bolt, which I can't see, which is right at the top of that uh, wing where it joins the fuselage. Uh, well, we'll try that again. <clears throat> the aileron cable is connected to the aileron torque tube. If I look in a little further, you'll see the rudder cable connected to the uh, spacer mechanism and that in turn, I'll look out here, is connected to the rudder. 